look at conducting meetings. At the first meeting, the group is in the orientation stage. The leader should use a high task role. However, the members should be given the opportunity to spend some time to get to know one another. Introductions set the stage for subsequent interactions. As the formal leader, you should set some ground rules, such as a shutoff or vibrate smartphones and other devices that can be distracting. For lawn meetings, have a break that enables members to interact informally and check their screens. The norm of starting meetings late is common, so it's very important to have a ground rule to consider when meetings start and end. Begin meetings on time. Waiting for late members penalizes members who are on time and develops a norm for coming late. Each meeting should cover the following. Objectives. Begin by reviewing progress to date, the group's objectives and the purpose or objective for the specific meeting. Agenda. Cover all items. Try to keep the approximate times and be flexible. Summarize and review assignments. The leader should summarize what took place during the meeting and review all of the assignments given. The leader must be sure to provide the appropriate task or maintenance behavior when it's needed.